In this tutorial, I'm going to explain what a smart pointer is and how to implement one. Smart pointers are basically pointers that take care of memory release, memory deletion, memory management for you. Uh, so basically, if you have a, a class like this, I'm not going to explain too much what this does because I'm sure most of you know what's going on here. So you have a class, and here we can actually use the class. Without smart pointers, you have to after allocating memory by using the new keyword you have to delete the memory yourself well this can become very annoying if you have a large program where you're constantly allocating and deallocating memory you have to worry about well do have i actually deleted all the memories that i that i myself <laughs> that i myself um allocated did i delete everything that i needed to delete and if you didn't, you have memory leaks. And that can become a problem. And if you have too many memory leaks, your program will eventually crash. Well, to prevent that problem, let's talk about smart pointers and how they work. Before we can talk about smart pointers, it's important to know what scoping is. And if you recall, scoping is basically the anything that's within the body of, within uh, curly braces. For example, your function has a scope uh, of everything within um, here within the curly braces likewise if statements for loops while loops all those have uh, scopes where they're between the curly braces such as this so if you had a variable declared right here an object declared right here if you said object equals new object blah 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 when you go out of scope you need to delete that variable because it's no longer needed or for example if you had an object that resides on the stack the destructor of the object will be called automatically for you notice how i said if you had an object declared on the stack so for example an object that's declared on the stack is one that appears like this object a now that object A is declared on the stack versus having an object such as this which is not declared on the stack but rather declared on the heap. The difference is this object's destructor will never get called unless you manually said delete. That's important. Versus here, object on the stack, A's destructor will be called automatically for you. Okay, so we can use this knowledge base to implement a, a uh, smart pointer. Effectively, we have our same old object here, but now we're going to do a smart pointer. With the smart pointer, we have it's going to be an, a wrapper class for. Um, this class so basically gonna hold an instance of this class so what it does is we create one pass it a reference to that object that we de declared and we can use it as normal and we can implement some fancy stuff I'll show you how to do that later and when this object goes out of scope what it does it's automatically release the memory so for example let's show how to use that the smart pointer is declared on the stack so that when this variable sp goes out of scope as it will when it go when this main function is done sp's destructor will get called and what happens is we jump execution to here and this we don't have to worry about deleting this because it does it for us automatically. So that's the beauty of smart pointers. It takes care of memory management for you. In next tutorial, I'll show how to actually implement that. And I'll be using escape. Hey, I'm sorry, eclipse <laughs> to actually implement that. Thank you. Till next time.